Greetings from the Dank Basement. This is your Wicked Uncle Squinty, Paul, with another Nasal Snuff Review. And tonight, we're going to take a look at... Da -da -da, this is the 41 Photo Himtaj Black, which I got from Mr. Snuff in this, I believe it's a 7 gram thimble. I call these thimbles, they're these little tubs, little plastic tubs. Very hard to get the snuff out of without getting snuff all over you. But it can be done, maybe. Let's find out. Not terribly expensive. This is a dark black tobacco, as you might expect. It compresses well in the tin. It is fairly moist um, and should be easy to sniff, even though it is a finer grind. Out of the tub, I almost get a berry scent to this or a fruit smell of some kind. Now, I know from trying to do this review several times before this, that it also has a cooling effect like a menthol without giving you that punch in the face menthol, if you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I know my snuffing technique just left something to be desired there. Put it in the comments, criticize me. I'm going to do this off the back of my thumbnail here. Spread it out a little on the thumbnail in your boxcar. This allows it to coat the nostrils more evenly. And you have to do that with this snuff because if you do not, the back drip on this is really nasty. I mean, really nasty. If you take a big, even an apple seed size pinch and just do the pinch straight to your nostrils, the back drip will disgust you. It might even nauseate you. <clears throat> it isn't good. Up front, where it counts, in the nose, it's good. I am smelling something like... I want to say, um, what is that incense? Nag Champa. But not terribly strong of Nag Champa. It does have a cooling effect in the nose that is a mint rather than a menthol, I suspect. Maybe even patchouli. Although it doesn't smell like, you know, unwashed hippies at a Grateful Dead show. It's, um, it's a very pleasant minty sensation more than an aroma. There is cedar in there and earth. I'm getting almost nothing of the base tobacco. If I am, it's more of a sort of a dirt scent, if that makes sense. But it's very subtle. You're really getting the perfumes in this. As it stays in the nose, you get a little whiff of a tar of roses. Um, but it's not a heavy rose like an Anarkali or a Dalakia Ganga or Kamal. Um... It's very pleasant. The aroma is really, really nice. How's the nicotine? <laughs> Not bad. Uh, nicotine rates a B or a B minus. Uh, but it's definitely there. And after doing several takes on this review, I'm starting to feel a little high from the nicotine from this. Even though I'm doing these little tiny, tiny spoonfuls of this. It's so good, i got to do it again. As I said, you've got to be careful that back drip. You know, be careful how you take this. If you do it, spread it out a little bit on the thumbnail and sniff it gently. It probably won't bother you too much, but if you take a pinch and put it right up your nostril, and please don't put this in a bullet. You'll gag. I, I guarantee it. Yeah, I like that. If it wasn't for the back drip, this would be a 5 out of 5 really. It is very, very good, and you can't beat the price. So you ask me, Paul, why do they call it 41 photo? Why do they call it 5 photo, 6 photo, 7 photo? Easy. Back in the day when fewer people knew how to read, this was the best way to label the snuff so people would buy your brand. And all they had to do was count the number of photographs on the label of the founding fathers of the company, typically, or members of their family or principal officers in the company, uh, usually the founders. And just by being able to identify the number of photos on the label, you could pick your brand. So hence, 41 photo. Um, I can't say a lot of bad things about this, except for that damn back drip, which is just heinous. It's terrible if you do this wrong. On the squinty scale, no surprise, right? It's going to get a 4. It's not really good enough to get a 5 because of that back drip, but if you include price, aroma, nose feel, nicotine kick, 
it's all there. So I've got to give it at least a four. And if you do it properly, you might even call this a five. From the dank basement, and of course, as always, I've got snuff all over me. This is your wicked Uncle Squinty, Paul. Thanks for watching.